See, this is the point that does my head in. So many people on the left from the, the Labor Party uh, federally and in the States and, and other well-meaning people in this debate who all claim they want to see the world go net zero, you can't do it on Australia's model. All the experts tell us on current technology, you cannot have a renewables plus storage model and get to net zero. You're going to actually destroy the country economically. And the one technology that can help you get there, even if you want to have a lot of renewables is nuclear. Now, you've looked at this right around the world. Tell us what you're seeing around the rest of the world, and in particular, how the left of politics, the green left of politics, has embraced nuclear. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my humble brag at the moment. I, I've, I've been around the world and I wanted to actually learn a lot more about nuclear energy, uh, especially the, the waste and how to deal with spent fuel and all of uh, the, the issues with um, you know, safety, as we know. And I came back very assured that it's a technology that we should embrace as part of a diversified mix. I don't believe nuclear is the solution that we should take 100%. In fact, most countries are looking not at one solution, they're all diversifying risk. Absolutely. Um, I've been recently to the US and Canada, and um, that's what the Canadians are doing in Ontario. They're trying to improve. They already have nuclear. Nuclear is 60% of, of their um, energy supply, and that's why they have one of the cheapest energies in Canada, and they're investing in SMRs. And that's what's happening with so many countries, more than 30 countries around the world, uh, trying to get onto the um, nuclear bank uh, yes, uh, small bandwagon. Small, and small they modular also want to... And, and, and just uh, in 20 seconds or less, Christina, can we afford it? Yes, we can afford it. If you look around the countries that have nuclear, whether it's existing or investing in new nuclear, it's obvious that they've done their numbers and they've collected enough uh, you know, information from existing nuclear in other countries. I believe that Australia can afford it. We're not new to nuclear because we already have been able to, yep. to build, to license, build and even free nuclear uh, power stations in Australia and decommission too. I believe that regulatory is present and still is very capable. We have great people working there. I believe we can do it in a timely manner that, you know, wouldn't take that long as most uh, of most people are saying to us. Mm -hmm. And what I've seen in the UAE is that when there's will, uh, they can do things fast. And uh, I think that there's plenty of uh, evidence to show that long term nuclear, uh, the cost of nuclear will be reduced, especially Absolutely. because of the longevity of yeah, nuclear exa power plants. Exactly. They last uh, 60, 70 years uh, or longer. Thanks so much for joining us, Christina. I appreciate it. Christina Talaco, the, the coalition for conservation, the CEO, the question with nuclear is whether this country can afford not to do it. Those countries are not foolish. They're not deliberately sending themselves broke.